Damn, son, where'd you find this? guys welcome back today's a pretty special day and it feels like it wasn't even that long ago that i was here but uh anyone following me on social media will know that i've got a new boat and that's it there bloody weapon that is the absolute dream boat i've wanted one of these for so many years now i never really thought it was going to happen but uh a bit of an opportunity come up not long ago and one of my mates was selling it and it was too good to pass up so you might have seen i put the uh b19 up for sale and yeah, took a little bit of work, but we finally got there and that's it. Rare that it happens, but uh, I bought the boat two days ago and we've had two days of glass out since. So yesterday I spent all, all day muck around doing registrations and all that. We took it out for a little bit of an Arvo run, just see how everything worked in that. But today we've just come out to uh, Scorfell Island here and we just pulled up for a bit of a swim. As you can see, the kids are jumping off the roof. Well, they're about to. It's going to be shallow, mate. Be careful, it's probably too shallow there. Just jump off the front. Yeah, the kids are getting a bit excited, wanting to jump off into a metre of water, so... Yeah, but I'm going to go and give you a bit of a walkthrough. We've just come out today. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> That's what I bought it for. <laughs> kids are loving it out of the house, off the screen, so... Yeah, that's pretty much my house deposit sitting right there, but um, no regrets, eh? <laughs> that boat is bloody beautiful. I'm going to go and give you a bit of a walkthrough, so let's go. As you can see, Haynes Formula 233. It's a 1984 model, and um, yeah, I bloody love it. I could just walk. Yeah, mate. Can you, can you video us? I'm Jumping. videoing you right now. <laughs> can you get up there, Reef? I did it last time. Yep, don't step on that trim tab, please. <laughs> Whatever you do. Yeah, easy. Nice. So yeah, as you can see, two big Mercs on the back. 2016 model uh, four-stroke Mercs, uh, 150s. So pushes along pretty nice. I've got some stats there I'll show you shortly. But yeah, just um, both got the fast tails on there. If you haven't used these before, I've got them on both my boats now. So bloody awesome. And uh, it just comes, got a manual jack and plate there. Uh, she seems to be set up pretty well, so I'm not going to play with the settings too much there just yet. Got some Lenko trim tabs in the pod here. As you step up in, you can see nice teak flooring. A couple of stainless grates there and a bilge section in the back. Um, yeah, water just drains into these and yeah, I pump it out as it fills up. We've got our batteries, isolators, everything's all set up in here. But yeah. Nicely done. The crank, two house batteries and a crank battery. I'm still getting my head around everything in here, so it's going to be a pretty basic walkthrough just to show you all what it is. But yeah, nice soft combing all the way around, which is awesome when you're jigging and stuff. Just leaning into that just is real nice. Over over the course of the day, got a rigging station here, a little bit of a cutting board, just a couple of rod holders. The boat is semi well set up for game fishing and that, so. Probably going to do a little bit of trolling, try and catch some of them billies that I keep seeing. Got an esky here, fits in under the seat nicely. Bit of a split lid with a cushion on top, so I'm going to keep that one for drinks and beers and stuff. And uh, I'll bring out the uh, other big one when I'm going to keep a hit feed of fish. Uh, fresh water storage in here. Um, 60 litres of fresh water in, this, in here. And then I've got like a little kitchen sink, little shower head in here. Got plenty of cord there so you can have a fresh water shower after swimming or diving or whatever. And uh, yeah, down under here, got a bit of tackle storage. At the moment, it's just all our swimming, snorkeling gear. Just threw whatever I've, threw everything wherever it would fit just for today. So 
this is the first proper trip in the boat. Nice big side pockets on each side and uh, some a couple of rods, bit a bit of rod storage there for all your jigging rods and stuff now. Got this nice big hard top, nearly an inch thick thermalite there, so kids have been up there jumping off. But yeah, all the attention to detail that's been done to this is pretty nice. So yeah, all the rod holders there for all the rods, like all the rods, every rod in the world almost. <laughs> and uh, got a couple of rod holders down the side here for when we're trolling and that. So up the front, got a nice big open bed space there and uh, just storage and that for now. I've got to work it all out, get some sheets made up for the overnighters and that. And uh, we've got a Simrad uh, NSS Evo 3 there and uh, she reads beautifully at 40 knots. So it's just a dream boat to drive, especially at that speed. So trim tabs, anchor winch, just all your general switches and stuff. Start with the keys on the side here. The drink holders, little foot rest. That's very handy and very comfortable. And these seats are bloody amazing. Fold out and um, yeah, very, very comfortable, just like a lounge chair. So <laughs> it's got a little bit of a fusion st st sound system in here, as you probably saw up in the front there. Um, yeah, I'm not really used to having music on boats and I don't really put the music on a lot, but it was pretty good, kids loved it, so yeah. As you can see, front has a nice big open area for activities plenty of casting on the reef flats are going to be happening there and then i've got the big 112 uh, pound min coder up there with um three batteries all linked up under the front so we'll give you a look at that so yeah we've got a little charger built in so i can just plug him in straight into a powerpoint and happy days it does have a toilet under here i'm not going to bother showing you that anchor winch and some battery stuff up in the front there um, nice big long side rails and stereo there. All the wiring for all the all the engines all hidden in that there. So plenty of space up in here. Not like the 19. That was one of the big things about getting this is just coming out and doing overnighters and uh, being able to spend a couple of days out here and do what we love to do. So you're going to see a lot more um, overnighters, long, long range trips and stuff. And that's what I've wanted to do for a long time. But yeah, the 19 just, it was getting me out where I wanted to go, but it wasn't really comfortable for um, multiple day trips. So that's what this is all about. Get out there, spend two or three days out and um, yeah, go find some doggies and all the cool stuff that lives out on the hard line. So I'm going to jump up on the front and give you a look up there. That's where all the fun stuff's going to happen, especially out in the reef flats and that. There's plenty of room for casting and whatnot. And uh, I've got my big Yeti Esky, which I'm going to put here in the back corner. So when we're on the reef flats and that, we can cast off the back here and uh, you'll be able to have one person up on the roof and another person on the nose. So should be, um, for, you know, for this style of boat, just to be set up like this, it's pretty rare. And uh, just, you know, just in its condition and that, it was a bit of a no-brainer to try my ass off to get it. So, buddy stoke we got there in the end. And um, yeah, like I said, it wasn't easy, but we got it, so stoked. All right, I'm gonna jump up the front here and show you this, um, this front deck because it's pretty cool. Just bear with me while I get up here. But, uh, all EVA foamed all the way along the gunnels here, so plenty of grip and a nice big open casting area at the front here. EVA on both sides and it's finished off real nicely with that teak and um, that's just going to stop that anchor chain from slapping. Yeah, as you can see the 112 pound Minn Kota is holding it nice and, nice and still. Um, not really much current or wind to contend with today, but had a little bit of a play with it yesterday and it was holding us really well. Even um, even in a fair bit of swell and that. So, so far, pretty stoked with it. But yeah, it's one of them luxuries I'm not really used to having a encoder on a big boat like this. As I said, heaps of room down here for casting, but then up on the top there, we've got like a little bit of a casting platform kind of set up. I'll get up and show you. But yeah, all EVA foam in here. So I do have like a backrest sort of support thing that um, comes around here so you can sort of lean into it. So. When you're out trolling for marlin and stuff, it'll be pretty awesome just to be up here, be able to spot everything. And uh, Ben even tells me that out on the reef flats that it's pretty incredible out there. So just go and cruise along the flats and uh, you can see everything happening. So you're going to see some filming happening from up here, no doubt about it. But uh, have a look at that back deck. Plenty of room. And um, yeah, so pretty much a dream boat. That's a 
best word, best description I've got for it. It's, you know, I've always wanted a 233 formula, but it's just never really been something that's been an option. I saw Ben putting this up for sale and I had to give it a go and try and get it. It was a mission to get. It's not something I just pulled the money out of my back pocket. It did take a little bit of um, effort and I had to sell my 19, which was a sad day, but I did expect that 19 to be a boat that I'd keep forever and always dream of something like this, but um, yeah, here we are. So yeah, on the way out here, we were sort of sitting pretty steady for a fair bit of it, but I did push it, stretch it out a little bit, see how fast she went, got her up to 43 knots and um, yeah, chewing about 110 litres uh, an hour at that with both motors, but um, about 55 litres each an hour. Uh, not really going to be cruising 40 knots everywhere all the time, but I'm sure it's going to happen here and there. But uh, yeah, just a nice cruise speed of about 27 knots and we were chewing about 42 litres an hour. So still pretty good f considering it's twins and um, a big boat. Like this is a lot more boat than what the 19 was. 19 was epic on fuel. I never expected to get anywhere near that economy, but it's pretty good to see how, how well it's performing. At them, at them speeds, like 27 knots is quite comfortable. Uh, the boat just float, floats through the chop, very soft and nice and smooth, uh, coming through short and sharp chop, which is what we need up here in North Queensland. So I'm bloody stoked with that and uh, really looking forward to getting out a bit wider with it. So as you can see, beautiful weather today. We just pulled in here and we're gonna have a little bit of a swim. Kids are gonna jump off the boat a few times and uh, I probably will too. The water doesn't look too bad. They want to do some snorkeling, so we might just head over here to this point here and have a little swim, or might go over there. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But uh, then we're going to go out, just do a little bit of trolling for an hour, see if we can find find some Spanish or anything else, and then maybe drop a jig or two. So I'm going to go and get these kids sorted out. They're starting to get a bit restless. I'll jump in, and have a swim with them, and then we'll go for a fish. So stay tuned. Alright, come and jump in mate.
All right, we're gonna make our way in. Fishing was pretty dead. Uh, <laughs> kids have been having a ball, but yeah, just had a couple of skirts out, but no good. And then did a little bit of jigging, but there's absolutely zero run. So overall, bloody good day. Very, very happy with the boat. It's a bloody dream boat, and it's been a long time coming, but uh, yeah, looking forward to more adventures in this, especially the long range stuff, which you guys are all gonna see on the channel soon. So. Yeah, anyway, that's us. Thanks for watching. While you're here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. See you next time. Peace.